Now, A Place to Call Home is a romantic drama set in the 1950s in rural Australia and follows the lives of the Blyes, a wealthy and complicated pastoralist family who live in rural New South Wales. Now, joining us today in the studio, we have actors from the show, Aldo Mignon. Is that how you say your name? Uh, yeah, Mignoni. Mignoni? Yeah. Mignoni and Abby oh, Earl. <laughs> and they play Gina and Anna Paletti. On the show. Good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. Good morning. How are you? Oh, yeah, we're good. Very Thanks good. for coming in Thanks to visit us. us. Yeah. yeah. Sunny Perth. Beautiful. It's sunny. Oh, I know. Yes. I know. We, we put turned it on for you. A place to call home, loved by so, by so many. And there was a lot of discontent when an, uh, you know announced a third series was not going ahead. However, how did this all come about? A third series that's been filmed. We let a protest outside Channel <laughs> Seven. Abby actually wanted to throw Molotov cocktails in the <laughs> building. I was like, oh no, calm Lord. down. Just calm down. You okay. are terrible. <laughs> Um, but it was people power. Um, so basically, people people wrote letters, three thousand a week. Wow. L- who groups. writes letters anymore? I, I mean, that's it. just so beautiful. Facebook groups. The Save a place to call home group, which we didn't really quite know was what around group? until yeah. after season two. You started Save a place to call. No. Well, did I start it? Yeah, the Facebook. Shh, don't tell anyone. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> they, um, and, and it was amazing. In every city, groups got together and, and were petitioning to get the show up. And Foxtel. Wow. How does realized. it feel to be that loved? Oh, I've had it since uh, birth, really. Oh. <laughs> 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 Joking. I still need the love. He needs the love. Need um, no, well, well I, had, I was overseas. I had no idea. And my, my, my people, my agents and stuff were calling me and saying, it's so loved. And I was like, I think that's just my parents and Aldo's parents. I don't, know, <laughs> I don't think it goes far beyond them. A lot of letters. But mm. then, then I, you know, we watched the clips of people protesting out the front of Sunrise and then they contacted yeah, us. Yeah, they like were too. thousands of people. That's and I just awesome. thought, well, now we have a responsibility to come back and give them a great so, show. Yeah, and so good. Like, obviously, we're working again and everyone loves the show. But just it's such a good story that needs mm. to be told. And we don't have enough of that. On our, uh, on our telly in Australia. That's so. great. No, because, I mean, obviously you have a lot of the US and the, yeah. the British, you know, shows about the 50s and things like that, but nothing about Australia. Yeah. That's right. And yeah. I think it's that's one of my passions in doing it. I think it's really important to see our history and yeah. I think that will help define our future because at times you can see how far we've come, but that we haven't come that far. Mm. So I think, um, and, you know, we struggle a bit with our cultural identity at times. So to see... You know, Aldo plays an Italian on the show, um, which is hard because he's Greek in real life. But oh, <laughs> he is Italian. He is Italian. I just like to push that button. Um, but to, to see that back then they were considered, you know, to be the foreigner mm. in the in the townships, and now I mean, we would never look at no. Italians like that. So. Mm. No, it's very cool. No, no, the show is fabulous, not only as a sweeping drama, but also in staying true to the authenticity of the fifties. Mm-hmm. So, how did you guys? Obviously, you're young, and you know sparkly and not weren't around in the 50s so how did you prepare for Abby playing built that? a time machine for us <laughs> <laughs> every day we yep. use it uh, i think um we just did a lot of research watched a lot of films mm. listened to a lot of old school music um and i know going for the audition uh with abs like just reading the thing it was like you know has no trouble busting out a tune and and is into sort of buddy holly and all that kind of music yeah. so um yeah just you just kind of immerse yourself in that, in that world for a bit. And who doesn't love all those films? I oh, know, but who yeah. doesn't love all the fashion romantic. and everything too? And yeah. I made a point of talking to people that were alive then because I think that that's, it's, it's actually Our so interesting. And, and, mm. and we think of them as these kind of make a cup of tea, play cards kind of people. But no, they had all sorts of, you know, crazy adventures <laughs> yeah. as well. Yeah, there's an extra, know. there's a really beautiful extra, an older guy that in Camden that comes on, on set every now and then and he was pulled me aside one day and he was going, oh yeah, I remember when jeans were, were naughty. <laughs> when jeans first <laughs> Came no in and, that was, and that was the big right. deal, you know. Oh, wow. yeah. Like, Whoa, wow. Hey, look out. Oh, so it, it's been marriage week all this week on 985. What's yeah. it like being married, you two? Look at this couple. <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't do it, guys. <laughs> don't I do, do it. Do it. Stay, uh, no, well, well, I don't know because I'm single in real life, and for all you single listeners out there, <laughs> it is lonely, and I feel you. and no, don't. No, 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 no. But, um, no, how dare you? Um, well, playing a married couple when you're so young and you're so far from that in your personal life is challenging mm. because you want to provide insight and do it justice when you really don't know what the hell. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's all right. Yeah. Uh, or just oh, hit the dumb no. button. Look, I'm so there's sorry. been an emergency. She just this said hell inevitable. on the radio. Oh, yeah, terrible. Look, we're going to play I'm a so song. Sorry. We're going to come back because yeah. we're having so much fun. Yeah, we're going to have all a right? chat to you more. Russell. And we're not, not because of that. <laughs> oh, look at this Okay, Aldo Mignoni and Abby Earl, they are from a place to call home. More of them soon on 98.5. Is that really bad?
Dennis Russell, so much more. It's 17 minutes past eight. You're with Kirstie Morrow on 98.5. Place to call home. We have with us Aldo Mignoni and Abby Earl. They play at Gino Paletti and Anna Paletti, and they are running a muck. We thought we'd come back to you guys. <laughs> Abby's got a mouthful of apple at the moment, so... Lies, lies. <laughs> we want to know Noni Hazelhurst, yeah. a legend in the Who? industry. Yeah. <laughs> Who? Yeah. Yeah, the Abby. She's one of the grips. Oh, oh bless, bless, bless. She, she plays a bit of a grumpy character. What, she lovely, obviously. In she real she life. would beautiful. hate you saying that. Oh, I just really? want to put that yeah, out there. She will hunt you down. Funny. She's mama bear. She's beautiful. And the, the most amazing thing, I think Abs and I both realised when we started working with her, was like her love for younger actors as well. Yeah, and, and her so encouragement. Generous. Like I just thought, yeah, she's nice. Thought, thought it would stop there. But no, like she's happy to sit down and, and, and talk with you and give you advice. And, and yeah, we, she's really yeah, supportive often on the show. People say, I'll be a mentor. And you're like, well, thank you. But then they, they don't because it's a <laughs> yes, hard role. Like it is. And she, when I first met her, she said to me, call me anytime. I'm here for you. And I have called her at 3 a.m. every day. Wow. Every day on, the, on the dot. So she changed but I, I have called her at 3 a.m. <laughs> I've called her from the States. <laughs> <laughs> she, I mean, I, she has a restraining order, but she's still my mentor. But, yeah, but we still hang out at her house. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we still In send Queensland. her flowers. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and what yeah. about Frankie J? Oh. So boring. <laughs> No personality. So boring. He doesn't know how to so work it, boring. does he? No, he says he was in a band one day. Yeah, is he? Yeah, yeah, whatever. No, no beautiful no. man and, and such a showman and um, just has so many years of, of jokes. Of Lots yeah, of dad dad really like, good jokes. Oh, good morning. Do you know what happened story. to me last night? Blah, blah. Oh. And then it's a joke. You and know, you, so you can't believe anything. Yes, he says. You, kind of, you feel betrayed, don't you? I did. Oh. I, feel betrayed. I cried. Yes. Well, now following both of your characters' development in the first two series, because I we had like a premiere last night that we we yeah. you know, got to see. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Oh no, that's okay. It was no great. Worries. <laughs> but what we can what what can we look forward to in the third series in regards to Gino and Anna's relationship and their story? We are that you can share that you can't sort of share to lead a married life, and there's a lot of problems that arise from our families and how we support each other through that. Gina has a business venture, he does, which he starts out, and and, uh, Anna supports him through this. And and, um, there's a few things that pop up, a few obstacles in the way. So we just, um, it's it's uh, we try to do the best we could to depict it. A yeah, young married couple, and I kind having of, none of us be married before. Yeah, and yeah. I look at the script, and I kind of thought it was like if Romeo and Juliet lived. It's kind of you know we fought for this, and now you have to live it. Every I did my day. best Juliet mm. that I could. You, you did, babe. <laughs> you were beautiful. Oh, thank you. And um and it, and and Noni's character certainly is like, well, okay, you got what you wanted. Mm. Now um see yeah. if you can make it work. And at times it doesn't. But I like work. that we were also able to to work through things together. I mean, if there's scenes we weren't quite happy with or not sure the direction of it, we. We did have the ability to sort of sit down together, Abs and I, and, and sort of, you know, rewrite things work in a way, which was, which was really well, nice. We've worked together for four years now, so we have this God, kind of... it's too long. Oh, I tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, <laughs> you guys marriage uh, marriage like is a lot longer. Uh, <laughs> this is a real <laughs> married couple. Single week? Yeah, yeah, single week next week, Bring mate. Yeah, you can <laughs> come back. <laughs> All right, Aldo, Abby, thanks so much. Congrats on the awesome success, obviously, Thank of you. A Place to Call Home. Yeah. And uh, you're heading into WAPA. They had a I'm choice going today. Back today, yeah, they, to talk at 10 a.m. Hugh Jackman or Abby, and they said. Every time it's Abby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm holding cue cards for her today as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's doing a PowerPoint presentation. Yeah, PowerPoint. I'm, I'm holding the Of button, why I'm better than changer. Jackman. Yeah. 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 It's a comparison. Italian, Hugh Jackman. All right. We're, we're just Love it. The, the mic's going off. Guys. Oh, hell. Uh, stick around, plenty coming up. That's Abby Earl, Aldo Mignoni uh, coming in. Appreciate their efforts. Place to call home. Yeah. You'll kiss you tomorrow on 98.5. Oh, thanks for calling up. <laughs>